welcome to Shane for Crafts. I have a very brief video for you today. Uh, I just want to share my latest project with you. Okay? And it's actually a project that was inspired by a blog post by uh, uh, crescendo.com Okay, I'm gonna have, I hope I'm saying it right, I'm gonna have a link to the blog post that I saw where I got inspired by that blog post to make this today. Okay, now let, let me tell you what I did. I, uh, like in the blog post I saw, they use cardboard. But in their blog post, what they did is around the edges, they punched it with holes and they crocheted um, yarn, I mean actually hemp yarn, into the edges, which is very creative. They also have a picture here on there, and they wrote a little poem there, very creative. When I saw it, I was inspired, but um, I, I wasn't able to punch holes in this and wasn't able to... Uh, you know, so what I did is I modified it by using lace on the edges, okay? And instead of having a picture, I had a little uh, a little verse I wrote on there. And how I got the verse is I looked up the definition of love in the dictionary, and I just wrote down a few of the things that I saw. And what I have here is to treat tenderly, uh, to show great affection for, to be delighted with, to admire tremendously. To be very fond of. And that's what's on there. And that's regular card stock. Okay. That I put on there behind. That is a doily. And then I just accentuated the rest of it with flowers and twine. Okay. And uh, and then of course I inked the edges with a vintage photo ink. Okay. And um, here it is. Now to get this paper to curl up and to sit up like that. Um, what I actually did is after I, I printed this on my computer and cut it out, and what I did is I, this is an example. I'm going to show you how I got the paper to sit up like that. I took a pencil, and I just took it like this, and rolled the paper up like that. Okay? Then I unrolled it, and when I unrolled it, it was curled on the edges, and I just glued this part down to the to the uh, board and the dolly, the dolly that I have on the back of me. I also have some uh, paper roses, white and fuchsia. And uh, to, to further accentuate, I put two um, pearl beads that I had in my stash here and two here. I also have some pearl beads up here and the little beads of flowers and two white flowers there, okay? And I also, I had this fuchsia trim for a long time, never got a chance to use it, but it matched perfectly with the flower, so I put that there. Okay, and this, the word love is actually from a stamp that I had in my collection. Okay, let me show you. Okay, it's a stamp, and I did that in black, so it would match, um... So, so it would match up with the black lettering on the verse thing. Now on the back I actually have a little pocket. Now how I made, I used twine to hang it on a, on a nail. Okay, and let me show you the back of it. Let me zoom in. I used twine for the, um, for that. What I did was I took four pieces of twine, put them together, and then I hot glued them. To the back and I put circles on it to, to cover up uh, where I had hot glued it at. Okay? Now, on the bottom, I have a handmade buttoning string envelope. I'm going to do a tutorial on that uh, as soon as I can. It's just a simple buttoning string enclosure. You just take this down, open it up, and there's your envelope. Okay, you can put a note in there, or you can put a card, a little card, or something like that. Okay, and they're very easy to make, and I will do a tutorial on those 
as soon as uh, as soon as I get it changed. I want to thank you for watching Shane for Crafts, and God bless. Bye-bye.